Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a screwdriver. So we start by pressing X to delete the cube. Now we're going to add a mesh circle where we choose as vertex 16. And we scroll down, we go to edit mode and we're going to select vertex over here. Now we're going to right click on one vertex and hold down the shift button while clicking on the next vertices. So we click on two next to each other, we leave two open, we click on two next to each other, we leave two open and so on. So open two, click on these two, leave these two open. Now we press S to go to the center and we go to the center to until, and I show you until these two lines are approximately 90 degrees. Now we press A to deselect and A to select them all. We're going to extrude them. Just we press E, Z to extrude in Z direction. Something like this. Left mouse click, Alt M at the center. And we enlarge it a little bit. So it looks like this. Okay, we go to the opposite side. And we're going to select all these uh, lines, so we're going to choose Edge Selection over here. Right click on it, on that one, Alt right click on that one, and we have selected everything. Now uh, we're going to extrude in Z direction, so we press E Z to extrude to something like this. Now we're going to add another circle with the same vertex 16, and we move it up above the other, like that. Okay, and we're going to edge selection, okay, we right click on that one, and we hold down the shift button while clicking on that one, right click on that one. And now we press F, and we have made a face. Now we go on, we click on, right click on that one, shift right click on that one, and shift right click on this one, and we press F again, so we made another face. And now we go on, right click on that one, turn a little bit so we, we can see clearly what we have to do. Shift right click on that one, shift right click on that one, and we press F. And right click on that one, shift right click on that one, shift right click on that one, F. Every time we choose the three lines, we press F. F. And now I turn a little bit so I can see clearly what's going on. Just Right click, shift right click, shift right click, F. I'm going a little faster now. It is always the same. Right click on that one, shift right click on that one, shift right click on that one, F. Turn a little bit. Until you've got the last one. And it's better to change the rotation so you can see clearly which one you selected. The last one you select the four of them and we press F. So now this is done. Okay, we going to right click on the edge over here. Alt right click on the edge over here and now we can move on a little bit. So I zoom out because I want to make the cylinder. So we press E, Z in Z direction and we make a long, large cylinder like that. Okay, now I zoom in a little bit over here. So we know we're going to make the handle. So we press E, S and we extract or extrude and for the handle. I'm going to make one note like this. Okay. And we're going to extrude in Z direction, so E, Z, a bit like that. E, Z again, something like this, not too high. And we left mouse click and we press S to go to the center, not that much, something like this. E, Z again to move up. E, Z again to move more up. Left mouse click, S, and we extrude again until we have the same approximately the same diameter as the one over here. Now zoom out a little bit. E, Z. And we stop over here because now we want to make a special handle. So 
we're going to extrude that in three times e z again zoom out a little bit we're going to extrude but a little bit more like that look the proportions it's okay and we're going to press e z again that's the last one and now we're going to make this a little round so we're going to extrude again e z again not that much s left mouse click s of course it's always the same but like that it's too high so a little loud and to close it we press f okay now we're going to do the handle and therefore we're going to face selection let's right click on that one right click on that uh, we leave one open we hold down the shift button right click on the next one we leave one open right click on that one we leave one open right click on that one we leave one open right click on that one we leave one open shift right click on that one of course shift right click on that one shift right click on that one excuse me uh, because I didn't tell but every time you want to add a face you have to hold down the shift button so if we done that we switch over here to individual origin because we want to extrude everyone uh, at the same uh, time to the center so I press E from extrude and we go to inside something like this not that much now if we done everything like this we go to add a tool and the tool I think you know it already is a subdivision surface where we're going to say I want it at 3 and the rendering also at 3 and now you see that this is not a very good shape so we're going to add a few extras and first of all we're going to say that this should be more clearly to the edge over there so we are going to add Control R in that region when the purple line appears you left mouse click and you move it up until where you want the edge looking and I think mine is have to be over there and I want these edges also more clearly so I press Control R when I'm in at the region over here and left mouse click and we move it up until you get the shape that you want you can if you want it more straight you do it like that if you want it less straight you do it like this uh, mine is looking better like that and you're going to do, do the same over here Control R again at that region and move it downwards until I got okay uh, this is not good looking okay also so I want it more straight and then around so we're going to press Control R in that region left mouse click until I get what I want something like this the same over here Control R underneath it should be extra like that and in here a little bend it so I do the same Control R left mouse click over here and this the same but only in one direction here you can move it up if you want it like that or you want it uh, where I want it in the center so and the only thing now left is over here you see that it is a little going inside I want it straight so Control R and we're going to move it up until here and the same over there control again with something like this and for the cylinder the same over here I want that straight so control R in that region here move it a little excuse me I have to move it a little more up so we can see clearly what is going on moving this control R left mouse click and we move it up I'm going to put it somewhere over here and now we're going to move by left mouse click we're going to drag it just to the edge not to the inside but to the edge like that we're going to do the same over here control R like this and we're going to add one because normally when we add some color I don't just want the top to be a certain color normally it looks somewhere over here so we're going to add an extra Control R and that that should be because I wanted the color now before we do something we're going to add the colors and the basic color for the shape over here for the handle is 
gray so we're going to choose new and we're going to say i want a gray and for gray i'm going to choose a little darker this should be at one but yeah that's one i'm going to assign I'm going to add an extra color because I want the tip to be in a certain other gray. So I'm going to say plus over here because it is in the same tool. Add sorry, dark gray. I'm going to choose make it much darker or like this. You could choose black if you want, but it's not that good for rendering maximum over here intensity zero and we're going to the selection tool for that we're going to choose b and we're going to select ah sorry forgot uh you want to all the faces to be seen and all the faces you don't see so therefore we're going to left click on that one so we have the visible and the invisible faces now we click b again and we select everything over here and we're going to say dark gray and we say sign you see that he's coloring over there so we're going to add an extra r control r again and we're going to bring it down until we have the position where we want it okay we're going to do the same over here with the handle and the handle i want in yellow so we're going to add new and the handle should be yellow so choose that you could choose whatever color you like of course and we're going to make it a little more shiny okay and to select everything over there same should be lighted up all faces in the front and in the back control we're going to click somewhere over there control b uh, control b just b sorry click on everything you want okay should be okay and now choose yellow and click assign you see the same problem over here Control R again, move it up until the lightning is looking okay. Okay, like this. And I think we're ready. Now we're going to uh, change the position of the lamp. Switch to object mode, select lamp. Going to bring it in the center underneath somewhere like that we're going to say it's a sun and we're going to say we're going to copy one uh, sh shift d and we're going to bring one up and we're going to reposition it like this it's not looking okay just control r to rotate it like that Position it over here, R to rotate it over there. This one is looking okay, but a little more higher. And the other one is not in the right position, so like this. R like this. And move it a little more up. Now we're going to uh, position the camera. Just right click on the camera. And we move it where we want to see uh, approximately something. Uh, this camera should look like this. In the same area where the lights are. Control R. Okay, and to see what we uh, what the camera sees is we're going to press 0 on the num key. And we're going to press N. We're going to lock the camera view. And now we're going to bring in by rotating in, in the middle mouse and dragging it the way we want it you can play a bit around with it so you can see what uh, you, you want to see the view like it is I'm going to rotate it sorry for the interruption uh, there was a telephone ringing um, now we positioned the screwdriver in the way that we want so if this is looking okay then unlock the camera view go with your mouse in the middle of your screen and press zero again 
and we go into render and this is looking okay but it is much too shi shiny so we going back we're going to select the two lamps and we're going to reduce the energy by half of it we're going to render again and this is more likely what i want so uh, if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and meanwhile i wish everyone a merry christmas and a happy new year thank you for watching